This is Andrew for The Chosen Prime with a video review of Planet X Somnus PX09T. This is a uh, Ghost Starscream or Clear version of Planet X's previous release, Moore's, their version of Fall of Cybertron Starscream. But here you can see the figures done up in kind of clear plastic. Somnus here is a TFCon USA exclusive from The Chosen Prime. He'll be available at the show here coming up at the end of September in Reston, Virginia. As you can see, here's the figure done up in clear plastic. Here's his box, which is a black and white and gray version of the original Moore's box, standard for Planet X releases. He does come packaged in a nice clamshell, just like other Planet X figures. There's artwork in the back there. You get a set of instructions specific to just uh, Somnus here. You get Somnus's bio card. And then as far as accessories, he does come with a pair of his uh, blasters here, done up in clear gray plastic. He also comes with a red version of the Energon mace that Moore's came with. And then finally, he comes with the uh, crown here, this time done up in a kind of a shiny metallic purple. So let's take a closer look here at the details for Somnus. Taking a closer look here at this version of Ghost Starscream, you can see it's a nice, clear, slash crystal version of Planet X Moors here. Nice bits of uh, clear blue, clear white, and clear red. You still get nice paint detail here, like on the arms and on the wings. Overall, very nice. Design overall really is nice and striking here in this clear version. Uh, the joints in most of the main parts are actually opaque, and that's mostly due to the unfortunate part that uh, clear plastic doesn't seem to be as strong as uh, opaque plastic. So I think for uh, kind of longevity issues, they've decided to use uh, opaque plastic in the parts where you need to really worry about uh, joint tolerances. And it isn't not very noticeable on this figure overall. You can see that this. Uh, once I shine some light on this, just how transparent kind of crystal the figure is overall. Just he does look ethereal here um, in his robot mode. And it's the same in his uh, jet mode. And you get the same overall nice detail and uh, uh, engineering as we did on the original Moore's release. As far as his height, he's about uh, six and three quarter inches tall here at the top of his head and a full uh, seven and a half inches here to the top of these little intake pieces up here so he's roughly voyager sized so you know he's much bigger than the original uh fall cybertron deluxe we got from uh of starscream here as far as his articulation his head here is on a nice ball joint you can see that the light piping in the eyes really make them uh, stand out the shoulder pads here are on uh, swivels so they can move up and out of the way and the same you can use the arm the arm can lift up and go down it actually has a little bit of play forward and back on a hinge here, uh, upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. The hands here can rotate at the wrist and the fingers can open up on one set of pins. He can rotate at his waist, nice and stiff. Stiff joints forward and back, kind of universal joint. He does have an upper thigh swivel. Knees can bend just a little bit more than 90 degrees. The feet here are on a nice stiff ball joint, and so the, the whole bottom foot panel here can move, and then the toe here in the front can also move. As far as this backpack back here, you can see it's fairly clean, and these wings can move up and down, so you have a little options as far as how you want to pose the wings, both the inner ones here as well as these. And then part of either the jet mode or this mode, you can actually take these pieces here and they can slide out to kind of make them uh, be a bit more uh, dynamic in this mode. And just overall, just a really nice looking version here of Ghost Starscream. And nice and solid too. Um, there's no die cast, but he's a full 6 and 3 8 ounces worth of plastic. So he's a nice, hectic figure, doesn't feel like he's going to fall apart or any loose. He's a nice, solid figure. Another um, great kind of release here from uh, Planet X. As far as accessories, we can take a look at his weapons here. So you can see that there, it's kind of hard to see here on the video, but these are a nice, clear, smoky plastic. And there is some purple paint. Details here on the uh, barrel as well as the side of the gun. So you can either take the guns here and they can peg onto his um, arms here. Like so. And this pin, there's a, there's a hip, pin, hinge here at this joint. Or if you like, you can actually take it and he can wield them in his hands. It's up to you kind of how you want to have him uh, wield these weapons. And then the other weapon he comes with is his little mace here. Now, by default, you're going to want to take it apart here, slide this up through the bottom of the handle, and then peg it back together so he's holding the mace like that. Um, you can, if you really wanted to, 
You could take this piece here and fit it and push it over in, over the thumb here and have it sit higher, but you are kind of uh, taking a little bit of a risk. Uh, you might put some stress marks here on this thumb here. I've done it, and so you can't, it is possible, um, but I, you do want to be careful with this figure with all the crystal plastic. Again, it's not quite as sturdy um, overall because it isn't as opaque. So you kind of need just to be a little bit more careful with this, uh, the clear uh, plastic on this guy than you would normally. I haven't had any issues so far, but it is something to be aware of. And then his final accessory here is his little uh, crown here. You can see it's a nice uh, metallic purple with a bit of uh, gold detail here. And you can just slide over his head here and so you can have a nice Ghost King Starscream here done up in his robot mode. Overall, just really nice crystal version of a Ghost Starscream here. And this is a nice, you know, cool version of this uh, character done up in this uh, Voyager size mold. As far as possibility options for Somnus, since he's based off of Moore's, he's got the same nice range of posability here in his legs with a nice uh, ankle tilt and all the multiple joints. Then you can get some very dynamic poses out of this version of uh, Fall of Cybertron Starscream here just by moving little things out of the way. And you can hold these poses uh, quite well. And again, you have a lot of range of movement as far as how you want to move the wings, move them up or down, use this waist, waist articulation. Just overall, really cool looking version here of uh, Ghost Starscream. And depending on how, how menacing you want him to be, you can you know, add the mace in, et cetera. Just a really a solid release here from uh, Planet X yet again. Just a cool looking figure overall and looks, uh, would look really nice here on your shelf. So let's go ahead and take a look at his transformation into his jet mode. So again, um, due to his uh, kind of clear crystal plastic, you do want to be a little bit more careful transforming him than you would uh, a standard figure. I don't think it's going to be an issue, but again, I would just, I would highly recommend kind of taking your time, being careful with all this clear plastic. So to start, we'll come to his hands here. You want to open up the panels here under his forearms. Flip the fists in, and then yeah, flip the fist here in. Um, do note this is a tight fit, so you may need to use a tool to kind of get it out the first couple times um, when you're transforming it back into robot mode. But yeah, open up this panel, rotate the fist, and then hide the fist in there. We'll come to his backpack. Um, these little panels here, we want to push them in so they're collapsed. Pull apart the backpack, and if we look, these little clear red pieces here tap into these little tab holes on the backpack here. We want to pull this apart again. These little red tabs here, a peg in here. You want to hinge it outwards. We want to rotate it 180 degrees. We want to um, unpeg these little pieces here and kind of move them to the sides. You can see how this part will untab, move to the side. And then we want to fold them inwards. And the reason we want to fold them inwards, we want to rotate these pieces around. So you want to have, make sure you have clearance to then rotate this piece around. You want to do that on both sides. And now you want to take the um, bottom halves here, and if we look, these two panels here will fold in. And one side has the tabs, and the other side doesn't. And you want to start with the right here and kind of then fold the left on top of it to kind of uh, fill in and make this one solid piece like that and then take the two wings here and you want to peg them together now we can take these uh, parts right here and hinge them out again and we want to slide them forward and down like this and if we look there's a tab here on the blue piece that matches this tab hole here we want to peg it in locking the uh, wing into place so do the same thing on the other side hinge it out slide it down on this uh, sliding hinge and then just peg it in and we can take for now we can just move these wings around like so and move on to the next step we'll come to the front here and his legs take the toes and fold them up split the legs you can see there's tabs here that split the legs reach inside and push out this piece here and this might be a little bit of a, t a tough fit to get this in and out. So one, just be a bit careful, but I've had the best luck here, um, just when you're going back, is kind of get it hinged like that and then feed it in slowly. And that's how you can get it back into robot mode. But for now, we want to push it forward and extend it fully. So it'll extend like this, and then this little piece here will hinge out like that. And so do the same thing on the other side. Split the leg, 
push in on this little piece. Again, it might be a bit of a tight fit. Slide it, hinge it out, hinge it out again. The legs here, they will unpeg from the back, the knee here, and we want to collapse the leg, kind of combiner war style. So do that, and then we can collapse the, uh, peg the leg back in together like that. So we'll do the same thing on this side. We will unpeg it, use that double hinge to slide the leg down, and peg that in again. Come to his chest here. It should be fairly loose now that the backpack has been um, uh, unpegged. Come to these little intake pieces here, and you see it's on a double hinge. We want to hinge it downwards into itself so they sit flat on the back like that. That'll let us take this uh, front of the canopy here. And if you look, there's this little panel here that normally it's got a tab that pegs in or tabs into underneath his head there. We want to straighten it out and lift this entire canopy up and over his head. Take the nose cone and flip it out. Next, you want to come to these little panels here. And now these little panels are kind of like his torso here and they're hard to see on the clear version. But you want to uh, unpull them from the side and lift them up. And they're on little ball joints and hinges. You want to hinge them forward so they're kind of sitting um, like that where the uh, they just kind of fit into his stomach a little bit more so you have room for things to fit here on his side. So, And again, these can be a bit stiff to move and a bit tricky. You want to move them so they're kind of facing like that. Take the entire um, torso here and it'll hinge um, back on a double hinge lower. So you can see now that this these pieces here fit um, closer underneath his head. These two halves here, they'll peg into each other. You can see there's some tabs and like locking slots to lock the front of the vehicle there together. The arms here, we want to rotate and flip these up so they're facing upwards on each side. And if we look, there are um, slots here on this red clear piece and these little clear uh, pieces here on the shoulders. You want to peg this in, you want to do it. I'm pretty careful. This is a pretty tight connection. Again, you're doing, you're pegging clear plastic into clear plastic, so you want to be a little bit careful. And that'll essentially move the arm inward on a hinge like this. So the shoulder will sit um, closer. Take the arms here. We want to hinge them on the double hinge and then put them to his, his side and they'll sit like this. On his, on his side, so again, double joint the arm, making sure that you use, um, you fold it up so that this little gray piece is facing to the back. And what you can do now is take these little, uh, these pieces here, and they will fit forward, and there's little uh, kind of slots in this piece that'll now lock them to the uh, arms there. We can come to the backpack, make sure it's fully um, hinged backwards, there's two little clear tabs here on the back that match slots as well as the blue pieces onto his legs. And we want to tab his uh, legs into the backpack here. And it can be a bit tricky here on this clear version to kind of find out where they exactly um, line up. And then take these little wing pieces here and you can see there's a red peg here. And there's a peg hole on the leg. So hinge them down, rotate them down on the hinge. So essentially it's sitting flat like that and this peg will lock the leg in. So you just want to do that on both sides. Make sure that everything is nice and pegged together. Everything's nice and straight. And here we've got Somnus in his very nice ghost version of his Cybertronian jet mode. So take a little closer look at these jet mode details. Taking a closer look here at Somnus in his jet mode. You see it's a very nice crystal clear ghost version of Starscream here in this fall of Cybertron, Cybertronian jet mode. All the clear plastic really stands out in this mode quite well. If we bring the light in again, you can kind of see how well it kind of glows in the light, how ethereal it looks um, overall. Just the, you know, the overall palette looks really nice for this version of the toy. You can, if you like, just like we could on this robot mode, you can take these little pieces here and strict, uh, move them out to the sides. It's up to you, how, your personal preference, how you want to have it um, that way. Um, he does have landing gear. So we can move his toes so they're flat like this. And we come to the front, his landing gear is actually here in the nose cone, but you actually do need to split this little piece here in order to get access to it, because it is a bit longer. We can slide that out. And you can see he does have his little foot there. And so you can 
um, have him sit on the ground with this foot, with or without, it's up to you. He does stand just fine in his jet mode here with this uh, put away. As far as his blasters, you can take them, and there's peg holes on the other side of his wings. And if we peg them in here, again, this is a little bit of a tight fit. And with that hinge, it can be a bit tricky to get these uh, lined up. But we can put his uh, null rays or his blasters here underneath each wing. Just be a little bit patient with it as you're trying to peg it in. Make sure that they're facing forward. And here you can see he's got his uh, weapons, his guns attached here in his jet mode. Just a nice, solid, uh, really cool and striking version here of Follow Cybertron um, Starscream in his jet mode. You know, done up in Ghost Starscream colors. So let's go take a look at comparisons for Somnus here. Romo comparisons here for Somnus. Now, unfortunately, the rest of our Planet X figures are currently all packed up, ready for the upcoming show. But I do happen to have their uh, version of uh, Fall of Cybertron Grimlock here from Planet X. This is Vulcan, to kind of give you an idea of the size comparison here. Where Vulcan is, you know, taller than Somnus here. But, you know, you can see that they are both large uh, Voyager size figures. Highly detailed. Same nice engineering. And you can see here just how well... Uh, Moors and then Somnus here look next to uh, Vulcan on the left. Alternate mode comparisons, and here you can see how his jet mode is actually quite a bit smaller than Grimlock's uh, T-Rex mode. But again, very nice detailed versions of these Fall of Cybertron um, characters here done in very nice toy form. Another quick robot mode size comparison here for Somnus. This is a Takara Tomy Legends Astro Train, essentially Time to Return Voyager class Astro Train. You can see here how, again, Somnus essentially is uh, Voyager size in his uh, robot mode here. But uh, again, far more detailed and just overall nice, large, heavily detailed figure. And alternate mode comparisons. You can see how uh, Somnus here stacks up to this version of Astro Train, how he is this nice Voyager sized and designed and scaled version of uh, Starscream here. And again, Planet X has given us this really nice looking version of uh, Fall Cybertron Ghost Starscream. Some final thoughts here for Planet X PX09T Somnus, or their Ghost Starscream or Crystal version of their previous figure, Moors, which is their um, updated take on a Fall Cybertron um, Starscream. As you've seen through this review, building upon the nice engineering that they did with Moors, we get this really cool looking clear crystal um, version of Starscream here. You've seen that all the different little plastic colors they've used, even the paint details, the accessories like his mace, his weapons, and even the uh, little King Starscream uh, crown are all really nicely done here in this version of uh, Ghost Starscream. Now Somnus here is a TFCon exclusive, exclusive for the Chosen Prime. He will be available at the upcoming TFCon Rest in Virginia uh, coming up in the next week or so as, from September 29th to October 2nd. Um, the price at the show will be 90 US dollars. If we happen to have anything left after the show, we will hope to put them online. But if you're looking to get this figure, um, do get to TFCon Reston and uh, pick them up. This is a really cool looking exclusive um, from Planet X and it's uh, again a really nice piece and an ex excellent version of Ghost Starscream for your collection, so take care.